On the northeast tip of North America, on an island called Newfoundland, is an airport that used to be one of the biggest airports in the world. And next to it is a town called Ganda. Everybody knows everybody else. And everybody in this room has a story about how they started that day. Welcome to the rock if you come from away. Hey. You probably understand about a half of what we say. Hey. They say no man's an island, but an island makes a man. Especially when one comes from a like you in Welcome to the rock. That morning I'm in the classroom. It's our first day back and the school buses are on strike. So I'm covering for Annette, who's running late. Sorry, Beulah. How's the kids? <laughs> Not exactly thrilled to be inside on such a gorgeous day. So I told them we'd only have a half day this morning and they were quite pleased until I told them we'd have the other half in the afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to the whitest sweater that you've ever heard of. Where everyone is nicer, but it's never nicer, Bob. Welcome to the farthest place you'll get from Disneyland. Fish and chips and shipwrecks. This is no fun Welcome to the run. An Islander, I am an Islander. I'm an Islander, I am an Islander. I'm an Islander, I am an Islander. I'm an Islander, I am an Islander. That morning I'm in my car. The kids cross Airport Boulevard to get to school and at that time of day people are in a bit of a rush to get to work and stuff. So normally I sit there and I run my radar. <laughs> And if they're speeding, I'll stop them and I'll write out a warning ticket. I'll write STFD. Slow the fuck down. Welcome to the land where the winter strikes have kill us and we said, We will not be killed. Welcome to the land where the waters try to drown us and we said, We will not be drowned. Welcome to the land where we lost our loved ones and we said, We will still go on. Welcome to the land where the wind strikes a blow. And drop my kids off at school and head to the SPCA where I'm greeted by my other kids Al Berkin and Meowin for breakfast and a belly rub. Not that I'm complaining, I love some. But by the time feeding's done, I've got to get back to pick up my human kids, so I take just one second for myself and I'm sitting in my car. I'm in the staff room. I'm in the library. And, and I, I turn, turn on the radio. <laughs> I'm running my radar when Bonnie comes by. She pulls up, she's waving at me like mad. So I roll down my window and she says, Ass, turn on your radio. Down, Bonnie. Ass, turn on your radio. You are here. 